Good morning, folks. It has been a calm 24 hours on our star. We've got coronal holes, sunspots, and plasma filaments on the disk, but their staring contest is reaching an epic scale. The primary eruption threat remains the curving filament center disk, but as it's been quiet, we'll also be monitoring the incoming active regions. Why, though? When we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flaring is hibernating at the moment. No signs of activity. Well, we're watching because these tiny umbers on the limb actually grew a bit overnight, and if that continues today, we could actually have a pretty fun northern hemisphere by tomorrow morning. Let's jump up an energy level from X-ray flaring to the gamma spectrum and note the burst that was detected yesterday morning. That's the sixth gamma flash in a row from the southern skies. Solar wind is relatively calm. Some of the density readings are a bit elevated, but the constant moderate speed makes for playful jabs at Earth's magnetic shield nothing more. We had a lighter day with quakes. The uptick globally is expected to continue soon, however, due to the Earth-facing coronal hole and planetary geometry. You will remember our two areas of the world on watch due to OLR right now are the China-Japan area and Central America. Top quakes of the day, albeit moderate only, were all over that general area between China and Japan. But we also had an above average uptick that included the Galapagos Triple Junction here. A measure of caution, however, comes over our Central America OLR alert as volcanic activity can give a false reading. Looking at all the activity along the coastline here, I may have mistaken previous volcanic eruptions with pre-earthquake signals. We'll see. Still learning. FYI, that coronal hole just north of the equator has been relatively weak until last night. We are now seeing a strong outward force developing this morning. We've got a tropic watch near India as the system decided to bring a lot of rainfall even without the high winds. In the United States, we're still focused on the west coast where a pressure convergence drives the storm in where it just snowed like wild a few days ago. Over in Europe, we're once again seeing the southern high pressure clear the air with the storms rolling around the lows to the north. Only high pressure here is over Tasmania. Watch how it works to clear its local area of rainfall. Folks, if you've never taken the time to check out any of our top three sites, I'll implore you to check one out today, especially that last one. For website members over at suspiciousobservers.org, we posted 70 minutes of fly on the wall yesterday to the premium content section. We discussed OLR quake indicators, the crossing planet in history, and broke down how the Saiga catastrophe could happen to any species at any time. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.